are going to be represented here. This is a top terminal and this is also one more terminal. So, we can represent either this as a top, this as a top, it is completely depends upon the oxidation states of these terminals. Okay? So, this is completely depends on, so this is terminal atoms, terminal atoms we can write here now. So, this is terminal atoms or groups you can consider even, sometimes even we can take directly as a groups. Okay? So, always remember, always see this is top molecule or top group, top group or atom. Okay? So, this should have a maximum oxidation state, it should have maximum oxidation state. So, what is the meaning of oxidation state here? Maximum oxidation state means directly one specified point is there. It should have one of the important point is that is maximum number of oxygen atoms. It should have maximum number of oxygen atoms. Okay? And one more thing is now see here it is have minimum minimum number of hydrogens. It should have maximum number of oxygens and minimum number of hydrogens. Okay? One of the atom which you are selecting here that should have maximum number of oxygens and minimum number of hydrogens. So, we can follow the case of terminality over here. See, if you consider carboxylic acid, it having two oxygen. So, this is having a highest priority for top. Okay? Now, see, you are having only one oxygen, but here it is having two oxygens. Next case, here there is a presence of alcohol. See here, alcohol having one oxygen to additionally two more adjacent hydrogens. Next, finally, see, there is a presence of hydrocarbon. Okay? This is the order of selectivity with respect to their top priority. So, this is a top priority here, this is top. Okay, and see this is going to be a least one. Okay, now this is about the selectivity of top priority group on a vertical line, and this is the selectivity of a least priority group on a bottom of a vertical line. So, if any molecule having a two priorities while writing a Fisher projection, we need to think that top priority should have top priority should have maximum number of oxygens and least priority should have less number of oxygens. That is the primary selection while writing a Fisher projection. Okay? And we know that suppose if molecule having a variable corners, okay? suppose see, after writing see every vertical, vertical line indicates that, okay? vertical line indicates that see this is below the plane according to Fisher, vertical line is below the plane. Then what about horizontal? If you consider horizontal, this is completely belongs to, now see, this is above the plane. Okay? Horizontal belongs to above the plane, vertical belongs to below the plane. And finally, we can say that, see, if you are writing any fissure, okay? so fissure projection, every fissure projection which you are taking now, every fissure projection is a, completely belongs to, see this is Newman eclipse. Okay, always remember every fissure projection is a Newman eclipse. Uh, if you take any fissure molecule with uh, related to original molecule, that is going to be taken as a eclipse here now. So, let us consider one fissure projection here, A, B, C, now here I am taking B, C and one more is A. Now, according to fissure, I was saying that after representing this one, so this is nothing but a front carbon and what about here? This is completely rela related to rare carbon. Okay. This is front carbon and this is completely related to rare carbon. Then how to represent in a Newman? Newman we can represent such a way that, so here this is A and this is B and this is C. Okay. And one more thing here, see we can write this is completely related to A okay. and this is completely related to C and C this is completely related to B. Okay. And this is nothing but a, what is it? Front carbon and what about here? This is nothing but a rare carbon. Every time, observe see this is angle should be 0 degrees and here also angle should be 0 in degrees. Okay? So, dihedral angle for this one is 0 degrees and here also dihedral angle is belongs to 0 degrees. Every time dihedral angle of a molecule should be taken as 0 while writing a Fisher projection. So, remember one key point while writing a stereochemistry for a molecule that is every Fisher projection. Okay. So, if you consider a Fisher projection here, every Fisher projection is a, what is it? This is nothing but a Newman. This is called Newman eclipse. 
every fisher projection is a newman eclipse we need to convert them in a fisher form later on that is going to be converted into newman form okay and very very important thing will starts from here that will plays an important role regarding to enantiomers diastereomers and one more is identical isomers identical isomers are nothing but homomers so after representing a molecule in a fisher let us rotate the molecule and what you will get see that is enantiomeric forms best example i would like to say here see now if you consider see now every 90 in plane rotation every 90 in plane rotation for a fisher i am saying every 90 in plane rotation what happens see that is readily produce enantiomers okay they are readily produce enantiomers every 90 degrees in plane rotation that will produce enantiomers best example see here a b c d i am taking one chiral center here now so i am making a 90 degrees rotation if i make a 90 degrees rotation what happens see this c is going to occupy d place now this a comes here okay c comes here now d comes here next finally b comes here like this okay now what is the relation between these two these two are completely belongs to enantiomers okay and if you keep on rotate every time 90 rotation 90 rotation for this case so this is a next here it is followed by this is b c and this is d every time what happens rotation is keep on taking place when rotation is keep on taking place what happens see every time okay so let us see we can take a b c and finally we are going to get d like this okay not not only this we can keep on rotate like this see this is a and you can take b like this okay so this is b c d like that 90 rotation every time 90 rotation and we are going to get a selective isomer that is enantiomers so these two are completely belongs to enantiomers and these two are also completely belongs to enantiomers so finally what i would like to say is every 90 rotation will give enantiomers how can you say that this will give enantiomers okay so take one example and we can verify that that will gives enantiomers or not best example for this one is okay so take a lactic acid example for this case okay so this is a lactic acid general sources here now here it is h now cs3 this is called lactic acid this central atom having a four different atoms or groups that's why this is called chiral center in a which acid lactic acid this is lactic acid now i would like to determine the configuration for this one okay so this is the top priority according to cip okay oxen having a highest atomic number this is top priority next this is having second priority and this is having third priority and this is having fourth priority okay so i given representations on the basis of cip rules after giving this i would like to write this all numbers separately now this is 1 okay now see this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 4 so finally what i would like to write see i would like to close least priority which is present in horizontal line i am closing here now okay so whenever if you write like this see 1 2 3 this is called anti clockwise direction anti clockwise okay so whenever if least priority group is in horizontal line okay if least priority group is in horizontal line mode of rotation is completely we should take it as opposite in direction so anti clockwise means we should take now see this is our configuration if least priority group is in vertical line clockwise or anti clockwise is s that is known one everyone so now see i would like to make a 90 rotation for this one now make a 90 rotation here now so this is completely cooh now here you will get oh now here you will get ca3 and here you will get hydrogen okay now priorities are remain same first priority second priority third priority and fourth priority priorities are remain same now after giving priority see the mode of rotation 1 2 3 3 okay now see one, two, three. in this case what happens see least priority group is in vertical line so this is 1 2 and this is 3 now see here 1 2 3 anti clockwise anti clockwise means what you are going to expect here now so this is yes configuration see here r and this is s if any molecule if you are getting r and s that is nothing but a enantiomeric in nature okay so let us take one more example for one more 90 degrees rotation 90 degrees rotation so i would like to make a one more 90 degrees rotation here 
Now I would like to write COOH and this is OH. Next, uh, finally, I would like to write CS3 over here. Next here followed by H here. Priorities are remain same. First priority, second priority, third priority, and this is fourth priority. And observe carefully. Now still we are going to get every time anti-clockwise. But anti-clockwise or anti-clockwise is now here it is anti-clockwise. Okay, anti-clockwise. You are going to expect. See, this is anti-clockwise. Least priority group is in horizontal line, so you are going to get R. So finally, every time if you make a every 90 rotation, you may expect a enantiomer. Every 90 rotation within the molecule, that will give enantiomer. Okay. So we can say that initially we are going to get a R for this case. Next we are getting yes. Next one more time you will get R. Next here it is yes R yes like this. So always after 90 rotation, this is completely shows a relation of enantiomer. Okay, so this all are remain same. RS, RS, RS like that you are going to get regularly. Finally, you are going to get enantiomers. Okay, so one more point I would like to explain regarding to 180 rotation. Okay, see if 90 rotation gives enantiomers, now every 180 degrees in plane, every 180 degrees in plane rotation, every 180 degrees in plane rotation that is readily produced. Okay, so they are completely belongs to homomers. Homomers are nothing but identical isomers. Homomers are nothing but identical isomers. Okay, so if you take this is A, B, C, and this is D. Now I would like to make a 180 rotation. If I make a 180 rotation here, that will undergoes 180 rotation like this. So this is A, B, C, and this is D. Every time 180 rotation is responsible to give identical configuration. Okay, so I would like to write one more 180. This is approximately 90 here now. So I would like to write 180 by changing these groups here. 180 means you should write over here. So this is A. Now this comes B and see this is B and this is D. Okay, this is complete rotation here. This is A comes here. Now C comes here. Now B D goes right side. B comes here. Next one more. If you go for 180 and see, you will get original molecule A B C D like this. Okay, finally you will get 180 rotation like this. So, this two are shows a relation of homomer and this is also shows a relation of that is homomer. Homomer is nothing but a identical isomer. Okay, every homomer should be taken as a identical isomer only. Take one example which will give us a 180 rotation like this. See, this is same lactic acid I am taking now. now See here it is. This is first priority, second priority, third priority, and fourth priority. 180 rotation. 180 rotation. Already we know that this is 1, 2, 3, anti clockwise. Anti clockwise means configuration is R. Why? Because least priority is in horizontal line. So finally, once if you make a rotation here, go for 180. It may be clockwise or anti clockwise. Suppose, see, I would like to shift like this. See, this is CS3 towards above. Now, COOH is below. Now, if you rotate like this, now OH is towards left side and hydrogen is towards right side. 180 rotation. Okay. After 180 rotation, priorities are same. First priority, second priority, third, and this is fourth priority. Now, anti-clockwise. Okay. Now, anti-clockwise. What happens is similar. You are going to get R. See here. Now, you are going to get R and R. R and this is R. So now, this is homomer. We are saying that this is nothing but a identical isomer. This is nothing but an identical isomer. Why? Because these two having a approximately same orientation. That is nothing but a configuration. Configuration of these two will be remains same. So we can say one specified point here. After rotation, if you are getting R and R, now if you are getting S and S, this relation is completely shows. Now it is completely shows homomers. Okay. Every 180 rotation will gives identical isomers. That identical isomers are nothing but homomers. And every 180 rotation responsible for a suitable reflection of its original configuration in a molecule. That is the actual point which is related here now. See, and see, every time we can say two group exchange, if you consider.